Joining us uh, this afternoon is uh, is Mr. Chris Daughtery and Dr. Kelvin Kelly. Uh, they're here to tell us about uh, uh, the Buffalo Soldiers as, uh, as an Abilene Municipal Ceremony as local organizers honor the Texas Buffalo That's Soldiers, correct. which this is a very, very cool thing. Uh, t Dr. Kevin Kelly, t tell us about this whole thing so far. For, give, us, give us the nuts and bolts here. Primarily, uh, July is Buffalo Soldier Heritage Month in the mm -hmm. state of Texas. And so this honors the commemorating uh, July 28, 1866, when they were first organized to serve mm -hmm. Uh, the advance westward. Nice, and so and the the Buffalo Soldiers they have I mean they've they've had a big impact here in West Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, coming from San Angelo, mm -hmm. uh, Fort Concho Fort does Concho. a lot down there. Yes. Uh, but you guys are kind of trying to to, to kind of really establish something here. We want to remember. It's it's very important for us to remember and connect generationally what history really means to us. Looking at their service because they were instrumental in establishing community, establishing resources, establishing the safety of, of settlers mm -hmm. to come. And so now to honor their life and their service and their legacy is very important for us. Yeah, definitely. Those, those individuals do not need to be forgotten. Uh, now, Chris, uh, the young men from Boys to Gentlemen will lay the wreaths during this ceremony. Tell me about that and certainly the impact uh, of that whole thing there. So it's, it's super important for us to be intentional about bridging the gap. You know, we can't just come out and talk about a culture being lost, um, kids not having an identity, if we're not able to welcome them into that process. One of the biggest struggles that you see in our focus with From Boys and Gentlemen is bringing the father back into the family equation. Well, part of that is bridging the gap in generations, where we're getting that mountain of wisdom to our youth, where they're able to build that relationship, those skill sets. But ultimately, um, just as the Bible say, uh, young men are for war while old men are for counsel. So having that wisdom of aspect to understand, I can't have my game plan if I don't have it for my elders. Right. Uh, so them understanding aspects like this and enjoying aspects of culture is extremely important to the building blocks for, for boys and gentlemen. That's a fantastic way to put that. And I think uh, whether it's black, white, green, yellow, whoever, I mean, yes, certainly sir. needs to, to embrace it from that aspect there. Uh, Dr. Kelvin Kelly, um, T tell us, uh, I guess, when this will take place and, and some, of the, some of the details there. We'll be at uh, the Municipal uh, Cemetery on Tuesday, July the 4th um, at 10 a.m. And so we'll be there, Dr. A.C. Jackson and many others from the community who help provide for this will be their support. What a great way to celebrate this, you know, not only on Independence Day, but just just to celebrate uh, the whole the whole uh, the whole community, the yes. whole aspect of this thing on on on, on uh, Independence Day. Well, if you would like to to come for this ceremony, uh, like Dr. Kelvin Kelly said, it will be at the Abilene Municipal Cemetery, located at the corner of North Eighth and Cottonwood. It will be Tuesday, July fourth at 10 a.m. To learn more, go to LetUsBreatheAbilene.org.